in this video I'm going to go over the HT6690 kit for uh, the 9E turbine. This specifically is for the inland end of the uh, drivetrain, the load coupling to inland generator connection, which is the load coupling will have a step in it near the flange end. For this tensioner, you want to make sure you have your proper information, take inventory of your parts that's covered in the instruction manual, it can be found at riverhawk.com. You're going to want a copy of your hardware drawing, which on the hardware drawing will dictate the stick out dimension, and you want to make sure you have your tools in order. The stick out, when setting this up, you set up the hardware into the flange, you check your stick out dimension, which in this case I have a gauge for the 9E. This has a step in the gauge. The, the ears will sit down on the nut and the base of it should be resting against the stud. That will set your stick out dimension between the stud and the nut. This is, this is important. This establishes the distance from the end of the stud to the flange so when we build up the tensioner on there we have the proper orientation of everything down the train. Once that's set, you want to make sure it's tight so you take your, your spanner ring, take a nut on the back side, use your pin wrench, and make sure it's good and snug. Double check that dimension, just make sure it's good. And now we can start building the tension onto the stud. The spanner ring can go on first. Take your puller screw, make sure the threads are clean here, make sure the threads are clean inside the stud. That's covered in IM220, also going to be found on the uh, Riverhawk website for cleaning the inside of those threads. Place the puller screw in the hole, put it in hand tight, snug it up with a wrench, back it off a quarter of a turn, then you want to just snug that up by hand. It doesn't need to be tight. Uh, if this is dirty connection, you'll feel it in the puller screw that it won't be a smooth connection between those two. After that, you take your, your foot, place the ears up against the flange underneath your annual groove, and that just will set there loose. Take your core tensioner, Screw that onto the core screw. You want to put that on. There's going to be a gap here between a 16th and 3 16ths of an inch. So you want to put that on. You don't want to run that on hard. You want to just bring it up here until it stops. It's now it's all seated. You have a little bit of play in the foot, a small gap here. Now we can take our hydraulic and locking guard, place it on, and tighten up our backside. Clamp. This is kind of unique for the Elon generator. This is usually on the hydraulic connection side, but in this case it is on the back side of the stud. Bring that down tight, clamp it. You'll see that the hydraulic connection is tight here. Grab the ears of the connection, put it on. Make sure that hydraulic is just a quick connect inside there. You just want to make that connection. Connect your hydraulic holes from the pump and then pressurize. As it pressurizes, you'll see this washer on the bottom of the cylinder come out and press against the foot. That's what's causing the, the puller screw to pull on that stud and stretch it. Allow it to come out the pressure. pressure is set and stabilized, you want to make sure that you tighten up that nut with the pin wrench, give it a good push, and release the dead man switch on the hydraulic pump. That will relieve the pressure in the system. The fluid will be retracting out of the cylinder, this washer will retract up against the cylinder. But you have to wait until that washer is seated up against that cylinder back to the original position, 
and then give it another 10-15 seconds to make sure that all the oil is out of the cylinder before you remove the guard from the uh, cylinder. This will ensure that everything is at the zero position when you go through your next step. That's back. We can disconnect the hydraulic hose. Loosen up our clamp. Remove the guard. Remove the cylinder. screw will be snug in there. I'm going to remove the core screw and the spanner ring. And you're ready to go to your next stud in the pattern. Once all the studs are tensioned to 50%, you will want to go to 100% pressure. Uh, outlined in the instruction manual. Please review the instruction manual thoroughly. This is just an overview of the instruction manual. It's the master and will give you every step required you need to install the hardware properly. Thank you.